My name is Carly Neary, and for my capstone project, I am looking at optimizing background-oriented Schlieren to detect breathing patterns. What exactly is background-oriented Schlieren? Background-oriented Schlieren, or BOS for short, is an optical imaging technique that visualizes density gradients by looking at the deviation of light rays as a result of refractive index changes using a mirrorless setup, unlike most Schlieren systems. For example, let's look at this candle. The flame is creating heat flow patterns that are not visible to the eye, but with background-oriented Schlieren, the heat flows can be visualized. Pretty cool, right? So what is the setup for BOS and how does it work? First, we have a camera and a light source facing a subject, which is placed some distance in front of a noise pattern background. With the camera focused on the background while the subject is in frame, a series of images are collected as raw files. This is due to complications of compression with other file types, and as a result, data could be lost. In order to show the visualization in the images, they need to go through a series of post-processing steps. Going back to the example of the candle, two images from the series collected are opened as layers in a photo editing software such as Photoshop. One image will be set to a difference mode. Already, we can see that there is flow visualization, but in order to see more data, we will add a levels adjustment to the image, and then we can clearly see flow visualization from the candle. So what can BOS imaging be applied to? Many things, of course, but the most common applications include shockwave evaluation, heat flow, airflow, and spray interference from fuel injectors. The goal of my project is to see if background-oriented Schlieren can be used to visualize breathing. In order to do this, I need to examine important variables in the setup, such as focal length of the lens, the light source, distances, as well as noise pattern backgrounds. After some initial trial and error, focal length became the variable that was most important for this project. I tested three different focal lengths, 100mm, 200mm, and 300mm. Let's first look at the 100 millimeter image. Clearly, there is no visualization present. The 200 millimeter image does show some form of visualization at this focal length. Finally, the 300 millimeter does indeed visualize breathing. In conclusion, we can use background oriented Schlieren imaging to visualize breathing patterns. Breathing detection using BOS requires a larger focal length for detection and appears to work for a minimum of 200 millimeters and larger. Thank you so much for listening to my capstone project.